Hey guys, welcome back to my canal. Today we are doing a makeup tutorial, drugstore edition. I have over here some of my current favorite drugstore items and then also sprinkled in some new drugstore items that I haven't tried out yet and I will be trying out for the first time on camera. This is the makeup look. I feel like it's another great look for Valentine's Day. Super romantic, super sultry. Super holy. No, I'm just kidding, <laughs> but kind of not really. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this makeup tutorial. I'm the lip with. First thing we're gonna do is brows. I'll be using the LA Girl Shady Slim. This is in the shade Soft Brown. Kind of already started outlining my brows to make this process faster because I usually don't do my brows on camera because I feel like, you know, it's always the same. I have the Mariah Carey glitter song from the soundtrack. You and only you make me feel the way I do. You and only Stuck in my head, I watched it last night. That movie is like pretty cringy, but it's like Mariah Carey, so it's a guilty pleasure, I love it. This is a really good color for my hair, honestly. Overall though, this pencil, I like the consistency of it. It's not super waxy. It has almost like a nice powdery consistency. Listen, can I just say something? This top is off the shoulder, but if I put it off the shoulder, I look naked. If I look naked, YouTube will demonetize my video. It's like a shoulder. I feel like, um, what is it, Stick It? The gymnastic movie when they're like, their bra strap? I mean, of all the things on YouTube, worry about my shoulder, you know? I'm gonna pick up the same brow pencil but in medium brown hair, and then I'm gonna use that to darken just the tail so that it matches my depth with the part of my brow that has more hair. Just do like these little hair strokes. Do like a couple hair strokes in the front here. See how long it takes to do my brow? Like even with editing, this shit takes forever. I wish I was one of those girls that could just be like, oh, I'm just gonna put, use a little brow gel today, you know? Hmm, okay. Next, I'm gonna prime my lids using my concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind. And this one is in the shade Sand Sable. My lids are red. I'm gonna take a little bit of that concealer on a flat, concealer brush, and I'm also going to apply that right under the brows. This is my first time using this palette. This is the Magnify Eyes Spice Edition from Rimmel London. I feel like the shades in here are so pretty. What I'm gonna do first, set my crease and my lids with the Milani Translucent Powder. I don't want any creasing going on here a light powder. Mostly right here where my lids tend to crepe up on me. Take it all the way out over here. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is dip into this brown tone right over here. I did kind of want to try this, but I think it's too light for my skin. I asked you guys on Twitter what kind of look you wanted to see and I feel like everybody was like, work look, everyday look. I swatched this palette especially because I feel like shimmers, they're not easy, but they swatch better than mattes. And these mattes swatch really nice. Look at that color. I'm just gonna keep building this. I'm gonna bring it all the way into this inner corner too. Wing it out here. I'm gonna take now another blending brush that's a little bit more dense. I'm gonna start packing this color on the outer corner of the eye. I'm gonna put it on the inner corner as well. Sure did. I am muy impressed with this color. I'm gonna mix this deep shade with this one together. So those two colors to deepen up the inner and outer corners. I'm just gonna place those here and also here. Take a flat brush so I could really pack the color on. And then just kind of blur out those edges into the lid. Taking a clean blending brush and just going through all of that, making sure everything is nice and soft. Looking like a cranberry. I'm kind of feeling this for the center. You know, give a little smokiness, let's do that. So that's this last shade right here. It's gonna really darken up this smoky eye. I'm just gonna use my finger and apply that to the center. I'm gonna use the brush that comes with the palette. Get up into that crease and really feather out these edges. I'm actually not mad at the brush that comes with the palette because it has like a flat, fluffy brush, which I like. You know, this one I could do without, but this one's pretty nice. I just decided to take this to a smokier level. 
I always go back with the blending brush after every step and just give it a one over. Perfect. Picking up Maybelline Tattoo Studio in Bold Brown. And I'm gonna run this on the lash line and really get it between those lashes. This is the perfect color for this. All the way into the inner corner. Thickest on this outer part here. And then have a pencil brush nearby. And I'm gonna blend that out. Really smoke it out. Give it that sultry look. I'm gonna grab a makeup wipe here and just clean up the edges here. And then I'm gonna try a new mascara today. This is the Milani Highly Rated. I'm gonna add a light coat of this to my lashes before I put on some falsies. Some of these things it's my first time using and some of them I've used. And this is my first time. It's kind of giving my lashes more of like a fluffy, feathery vibe. Now I'm gonna be using these lashes right over here. These are the Eyelore Times Jasmine Brown and in the style JB. These are my style lashes right here. I love these like spiky, oof, mm -hmm. I always like to do this with thicker lashes so that they loosen up the band. I'm gonna trim the edge off of these a little bit because I have a small eye. While I'm trimming these lashes, can I just say that I've been so inspired lately like I was saying in my last video, January, that was like, think about your life, watch a little Netflix. You know, it was like a rollover month. I wasn't productive, but now that February hit, I feel so productive and I actually found this notebook, I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram stories, that I've had for 10 years. I haven't had anything for 10 years, except Steven's ass. And listen, 10 years I've had this notebook and I wrote my goals and in there it said, launch my YouTube channel and I was shook. It sparked something in me like that's crazy that I wrote that in that notebook that long ago fast forward to now I feel so inspired so I wrote my goals for this year and who knows you know like years from now I may look back and think this is amazing that I accomplished this writing it down really does make a difference when you write things down like what do you want to do it actually holds you accountable because it's there you wrote it down it's not just floating in this like oh one day you know there's that realm in your mind where it's just oh one day I'm gonna do this, but it's not solid. If you put something down on paper and say when you wanna accomplish it by, it really helps. And I'm feeling so excited for this year now. Just thought I would share that with you guys. You should write your goals. Everybody says that, I'm sure. It's not like a new knowledge here, but just reminding you. This is my problematic lash eye. This inner corner always wants to play me. I swear it's the shape of this eye. Anyways, I wrote a lot of things in this notebook a lot of my feelings and it's crazy and it's weird to look back and think about what my mindset was then compared to now. Totally different mindset. It's pretty incredible. I feel like I'm so happy that I did that and I could look back on it. Now that our lashes are on, it's time to move on to the skin. Skin. I'm gonna try to attempt the technique I use with the Tom Ford Illuminating Drops and use the Flower Beauty Liquid Illuminator. Illuminator, Illuminator. It's still beautiful, but it does have a little bit more glitter. So I'm gonna take a dollop of that with Adri Wine in the shade Golden Doré and Sand Sable. I am going to mix that up and apply it like I do my other illuminating products here on the high points. It actually looks really pretty. This is basically just a foundation so that when you apply your foundation and everything, you get a nice little glow that shines through, especially as the day goes on. And I like a little glow to shine through right here. I like that like healthy glow when I tilt. If you produce that healthy glow naturally up here, then, then do not. Now it's time for foundation and this is my favorite part. I'm so excited because this is something that I've been loving. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This stuff is so good. 485 is my shade. I mean, I hope it still is. My ass is getting pale by the minute. Oh, I love this foundation. I mean, it just has great coverage. It's so pretty, it has a perfect finish. Now it's time for concealer. I'm gonna take Golden Dora. This one's a little bit warmer. Help that there. And then I'm going in with my Age Rewind and Sand Sable to highlight with this. I only do one application. I only click it once and then I use the applicator to kind of place the product where I want. So it looks like I'm putting a lot, but I'm just dabbing it over all the areas. This stuff has always been like my fave concealer from the drugstore. 
I still haven't clicked it anymore. I'm just using whatever's on there. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend that all in. I was gonna use my Real Techniques beauty blender, but I think can only ate it, honestly. Concealer always just really ties everything together. And then blend out this forehead as well. It's easier to blend out the forehead. There wasn't that much product up here. Blends right into the skin. I'm going in with the Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick in the shade Toffee. And I'm gonna use this to bring a little color to the face. My nose already looks kind of contoured with that concealer. And then let's shorten that forehead, shall we? I like to put a little contour on the lower lip because it gives more of a shadow and then it makes your lip look fuller. And then I'm gonna take this and just press it into the skin and push it upwards. Cut those cheekbones. I like to press into the foundation so that I'm not buffing and like moving the foundation too much underneath. And then also just taking this and this I can buff a little bit more. All right, so now I'm picking up the Milani Translucent Powder. Dab it on the back of my hand and press it and set the under eyes, the sides of the nose. I'll bring it right here to this part of the cheek because I always get really oily right there. I'm gonna take a powder brush and dip into that translucent powder just a little bit. Dab it anywhere I get a little shiny. Barely any of it though. And then also dusting excess powder off my face. I really wanted to try this out, but I feel like I'm already so full coverage, so. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Just Curious Blush. Literally blends right into my backdrop. Just gonna get a little bit of that. Add a little color to my cheeks. Put a little right here too, whatever's left over. I'm gonna grab some setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last. I'm not done yet. So now that I've set everything, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite drugstore. I think this is like everyone's favorite drugstore highlight. I don't know, personal opinion. This is Maybelline Molten Gold. Bring that down center. Make your nose look a little buttony. Going just over the top. Lifts your nose as well. I'm also gonna pop that right into that inner corner. Right up in heel. Now the cheeks. Add a little glow to the face. Might as well, since I'm here, decollete out. And just when you think you've set it all, I'm gonna go again with the setting spray. And we gotta finish off the lower lash line. Going back into that brown liner that we used, I'm going to put that in the waterline. And before that sets, I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm just going to blend that out. So now that we have smoked out that liner, I'm gonna dip into this purple shade. I don't know if I should call this purple. It's more of like a brick maroon. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take that and run it across just to kind of set this pencil. I don't wanna smoke it out too much further than that. I just wanna give a little bit of the tone that we have on the eye down here. Just tie it all in. Sometimes I squint and then I look straight ahead and I follow the squint so that I look like I'm smizing at all times. Are you guys good at smizing? It's really hard for me. Like on photo shoots, I sometimes I look dead in the eyes. Almost like people are like smize, smize. You know how Tyra Banks says that? And I'm just like, my eyes don't do that. It's really hard for me. Lower lash mascara, like I have not found a drugstore lower lash mascara that is, the wand is super tiny for my lashes. Does anybody know of a, of a mascara that looks like that? Because Extended Play by MAC is like the only mascara that really has that tiny little wand that I love and the formula that makes it look like I have more lashes than I do, which, you know, I haven't found a drugstore mascara to do that, but I'm gonna use the one we used anyways and just see what happens. This is not it for my lower lashes. Let me go in with Shayla's a mascara with Maybelline. Still big, but the formula is a little bit more, um, instead of wispy, it's a little bit more of what I need to make it look like I have more lashes than I do. For this eye, I do wanna go with something in those like berry-ish tones, mauve something that's gonna pull out that lid color. So for my lip liner, I'm gonna use this LA Girl lip liner in Cafe. This is one of my favorite lip liners. I'm just a fan of pencil lip liners, opposed to like retractable. Oh, I love this tone. I'm gonna attempt this lip color. 
I always get a little scared about mauve tones on me. I don't know why. When I think of mauve tones, I think like, oh my God, they're gonna age me. I don't know why I think that way, but I just, let me try it, okay? This is the L'Oreal Paris. This lip color was made for me. It can't look bad on me because the color is Create. Can't look bad, it has to look good. I wore one of these the other day and I really liked the consistency of it. It's like, Ooh, this is nice. More of a lip stain, not like a crazy liquid lip or anything. If you're looking for a dupe for like the YSL lip stains, I feel like these are really good. It's very, very light. Like good for an everyday color. So I like to really work it into the center here. Make sure I get it into every crevice. And I'm gonna go back in with my lip liner and just accentuate that lip line one more time. Don't you hate when you're being greedy? You're doing your eyeliner and it actually looks almost perfect, but you're like, you get greedy and you think, oh, I can just fix this one little tiny thing and make it better. And then you mess everything up. That's how I feel about my lip line just now. Thankfully, it's easier to fix than the liner. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Milani baked blush because I want more blush. This is in the shade Berry Amour. I feel like it's gonna go with those berry tones. I may have gone a little overboard, but blush fades really fast. Love this like flushed look. I love blush. It's having a moment right now. Cool. Let me put my chongo down. It's always very unpredictable. A little bit of an 80s vibe going on here with all this hair and all this blush. All right, we are done. This is the finished, really pretty smoky, berry drugstore look. Of course, I highlighted some of my favorites and then also some new new that I have not tried yet. I will try to incorporate more into my tutorials. Of course, I always have like my faves. I've yet to try this. I wanted to try in this video, but once I had the full coverage going on, I didn't want to also put this on top, but just know that next time I'm gonna try the Maybelline Superstay full coverage powder foundation. Don't forget, if you did like this type of video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and that's it. Thank you guys, I will catch you next time, bye. Do I have anything ready? You guys, I am so messy, like I just throw things. Vamos a la playa, a mi me gusta bailar. There's things everywhere. I'm looking for an eyeliner. I can't find it. There it is. Noli. Everyone can hear your little, your little paws. If y'all start barking, ooh, you don't even know. Really great. Oh! Shit. What am I saying?